Oh, black and tan. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> if you're new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, but I just showered. It's like mid-afternoon. I went, I actually was with my friend Hannah this morning and putting on sunscreen. I use the Skin Better Science um, Sun Better Advanced Mineral Protection. It's amazing. So I just put on um, like moisturizer and then I'll just put some of this on over. And it is really nice because it creates a blurring effect, but it's super lightweight. Um, so I never feel like gross wearing it and I get frustrated sometimes with sunscreen because I just feel like it's like a coating and I don't feel like that with this and I also feel like you don't need much um so yeah but anyways I had something for a potential career um that I went to earlier today I was with my friend Hannah this morning and so I just got back from what I had and now I'm going to I did some computer work so I uploaded tomorrow's video just on private the thumbnail for that and everything and then I did some networking stuff um, so yeah just reached out to some people that I've been wanting to reach out to. And then I just showered because I didn't shower after my workout. Because Hannah and I were down by the lake. But I'm actually going to go down by the lake again. Because I just want to be outside. It's like a little bit chilly out. So usually I wouldn't wear like a sweatsuit during the day. Sometimes I just feel like I feel kind of like a blob when I do that. Um, but I kind of want to. So I'm just going to wear comfy clothes. And go down by the lake and just like enjoy it um because why not so i have a little bit more work to do today but first i'm going to go down by the lake and then i'll get the, the work done that i need to get done also you guys i decided to put on this necklace it's like this little pearl like iridescent one that my grandma actually gave me so i kind of love it yeah face mask making dinner and self-care I'm doing a hair mask too feels so good I did a mixture of the anomaly and then the olaplex Good morning you guys i am back in bed after doing my morning routine morning routine coming soon and um, have my coffee and i'm gonna do a little bit of reading before i get my workout on i'm it's currently 7 57 so yeah i just finished all my morning stuff and i'm gonna do a tasha in about 20 minutes but i just wanted to like take a sec read little bit and drink my coffee so yeah i'm meeting up with so blake's brother's girlfriend we're gonna go on a little walk and get coffee so that'll be fun i'm doing that at 9 30 and then i just have like a lot of stuff for my class i need to do and just get shit done so yeah <coughs> 
Hello. I just got from a hot... Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. I'm not sweaty, but I just got back from a hot yoga class at Ritual. It was so good. And... Yeah, feeling good. I'm sweaty, so I'm gonna shower. A little iced Americano action this morning. Hi guys, I don't even know the last time I vlogged, but it's been a good day. I was in Wicker Park because I was doing kind of like a meeting with some people about potential career path, just kind of like networking stuff, um, which went really well. Um, I feel like I'm gaining clarity. I'll update you guys once I know more, um, but I'm just grabbing a little scrunch scrunch because I'm going to go outside. It's been raining all day. And there's like finally just like a little bit of a break in the weather. So I am going to run and just bebop around a little bit. Um, I kind of just want to like go into some stores. I'm not going to buy anything, but I just want to like bebop. I don't know. Just like be outside. And yeah, I feel like I've been sitting all day for the most part. So yeah, I'm excited to just like be around people and yeah i'm meeting up with jess in about two hours so that'll be really fun but yeah until then i'm gonna go out and do my thing so i'll bring you guys along hello got a little sparkling water with limon and lime yum fave just got home it's like so gross out, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm still so glad I went outside. And I just like walked around, listened to podcasts, walked into Nordstrom, and yeah, now I'm here. But feeling so good. This is like probably my second favorite lip balm. I love this Kopari Lip Glossy. Summer Fridays. Lip Butter Balm and Linish Lip Mask. I'm in for the night. So I'm gonna sanitize my thumb. So I'm that type of psycho. And sit on the couch and read my book. It's raining harder right now. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put my phone on airplane mode for the rest of the evening. Which I'm really excited about. Wine at work? Yeah. Oh. Hi guys, we just finished dinner. I just did my skincare and I'm literally just wearing like a little skim set. I'm so close. Um, but literally it's like 8.30 at that and we're getting in bed, but I'm ready for it. I'm tired and excited to just freaking be in bed. So, anyways, but I wanted to talk to you guys because I was listening to this podcast today and it was Emma McDonald with these girls from Chicago so that's why I listened to it because they're from Chicago so I have to listen to it these girls are a year or two younger than me like maybe three years younger than me actually anyways and they were just like all like just talking like also it's so pretty outside I have to show you the clouds are moving so fast and the sky, it just looks so beautiful. I love that. But they were talking about like, just like hooking up with guys and stuff. And it literally made me realize, Blake, I am literally so sheltered. What? 
because I was listening to this podcast and these girls were like talking about all the guys they've hooked up with and like going out and like ju just like it sounds like they like to hook up with a lot of fuck boys and like they were literally just like talking about like oh well he did this so I did this and like I literally was just kind of listening and I was like wow I literally am so sheltered I have never participated in any sort of like hookup culture so I know nothing really about any of that <laughs> and I literally was like I was just shook <laughs> but I don't know <laughs> that like I, I, I don't know they like the way they were talking about like talking to guys it seemed so complicated and somehow I have a boyfriend <laughs> And it wasn't complicated, so I'm just feeling blessed for that. But, right, Blake? Yeah. I'm deep in the weeds. Anyways, I also was thinking about this today, and I wanted to talk about just like practicing acceptance to like everyone around you. And like, especially it's just like mostly something that i but i wanted to talk about acceptance because i think accepting others is accepting yourself and like i was just thinking about it because i can literally default and this is something i've been working on is not defaulting to judgment like if someone's different than me why am i like why would i default to judgment or if some someone does something that i don't necessarily agree with why would i default to judgment when really like when i'm judging someone else i'm judging myself you know like because i think our like the way we, we react to other people is a direct reflection of how we feel about ourselves, And so I've just been really working on just like, for example, someone, this is such a stupid example, but like, okay, Blake eats like a lot of meat and like loves having meat with his dinner. I wouldn't say you eat a lot of meat, but he eats meat and like loves having meat with his dinner. I don't really eat meat. Why would I waste my time and my energy and like, really also just like put out negative vibes judging him for eating meat to change the world when okay when like he can do him and i can like respect that lovingly and i can do me i don't know that's kind of getting off the beaten path but i've just been like thinking about it a lot and i've really really been working on just like i think i'm a, like i'm very i would say i'm a pretty open-minded person and like I work to try to just like accept everyone and love everyone but I think like it's easy on the surface to do that but it's difficult to just like actually like ingrain that deep within you Blake Blake's being a dingus right now but okay I just wanted to say that but I love you guys I'm gonna honestly we're gonna watch a show and then go to bed so I love you and I'll see you in the morning Good morning, you guys. Um, happy Friday. It is around like maybe 7.45 or so. I just finished my morning routine. I'm going to read for a little bit and then Blake and I are gonna go get coffee. But it's literally so gross out. Like it's been raining nonstop and I'm not gonna lie. I had not one, but two nightmares last night. I haven't had nightmares in so long. Like, I'm trying to think of what it could have been. I feel like they were probably just anxiety dreams, but it's also like, I literally, so I used to get pretty bad nightmares when I was little, um, but I literally haven't had them in like, I don't think years. Like, I really don't get nightmares often anymore. So it was very rattling. Like the first one was rattling and then I got up and went to the bathroom and did like some breathing just because I was like, okay, I don't want to have the same dream. Like I don't, I hate <clears throat> they're having a nightmare and you fall asleep back to the same dream. Like that sucks. So I didn't go, like I kind of went right back to bed, but then I fell back asleep and I had an even worse nightmare. It was just like seriously and it was unrelated but that's okay i'm just gonna that's why i do like my breathing and stuff just to like let that kind of stuff go and really like start the day out on a good note so yeah 
um despite the weather and the nightmares i'm gonna have a great day today it's gonna be productive it's gonna be fun it's gonna be relaxing and i'm gonna bring you guys along on it i'm finishing up my lemon and honey water and i'm gonna read a little bit of skimmy confidentials book i've been loving this book so yeah